Hello Taurus, how are you? Welcome to my channel Star 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 and welcome to your reading. So this is your reading for the month of July and this is a general reading. Take what resonates, only what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa and time is fluid. In this reading, we'll see, uh, we'll see uh, what is your overall energy, what you need to know for the month of July, what you need to know regarding your love life for the month of July. Talking about love, you've got lovers, so I'm going to take it for your love life. Uh, then we'll also see what you need to know regarding your career, your finances, the challenges and opportunities that are coming towards you. This is a general reading. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. There is an extended reading and link for the same is in a description box and comment section. What is your overall energy? We have hanged man. Uh, as far as your love life is concerned, we have lovers and I'm pulling out one more card for your love life. The Sun card. Awesome. You've got two major arcana stories. Uh, regarding your career, we have Six of Cups. Challenges, we have Eight of Cups. And opportunities, we have 10 of cups. Wonderful. And bottom of the deck, we have 5 of swords. So Taurus, uh, your overall energy, we have hanged man over here. And hanged man is telling me that uh, you're going to be in this observational mode. Okay. You might, you're going to talk less, you're going to observe more, you're going to notice things a lot more than usual, okay? Uh, your antennas are on alert mode all the time, so maybe in the past uh, you were not able to notice red flags in any situation, but you're not going to miss them this time around. Or if there is a genuine person that is approaching you, you will have no doubt in your mind about the intentions of that person. Okay. So your radar is very alert. And apart from that, people might perceive you, especially people uh, who are going to meet you for the first time. People might perceive you as an introvert, which you are probably not. Okay. But they might perceive you as such. Uh, but once they get to know you well, once they spend a lot more time with you, they will they will know that uh, you are not the way they had understood you as to be. Okay, there is nothing wrong in to be an introvert. I'm just telling you that people, especially in the month of July, if you're going to meet any new person, they might perceive you as an introvert because you are in this observational mode, right? You, I, I certainly feel like you're going to talk less and you, you are definitely watching more. As far as your love life is concerned, we have the lovers and then we have the sun card over here, which is very strongly indicating... Okay, before I start with the, with the meaning of the cards, let me tell you about the zodiac signs. I see Gemini, I see Leo, I see Pisces, Cancer, all, all water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and Libra as well. Okay, all right. So coming back to the meaning of the cards, uh, we have lovers and we have the sun. Uh, there are positive changes. There is good news that is coming towards you as far as your love life is concerned. Uh, as far as your love life is concerned, Taurus. And apart from that, I would also like to say... Uh, like, you might feel like... You are not required to put in some efforts or extraordinary efforts to find the person. Okay, you will feel like things are automatically falling in place. You will feel like you're being pushed towards someone specific. And the other person will also have a similar feeling. The other person that is coming towards you, they will also feel like they're also being pushed towards you, Taurus. Okay. So it's quite possible, Taurus, that especially in the month of July, you might feel like there are some un unknown forces 
unseen forces that are guiding you or maybe maybe kind of pushing you in a certain direction okay suggesting you recommending you to move in a certain direction uh and that is happening because you are destined to meet someone in the month of july that's what i'm i'm getting i mean there is a very strong indication over here there are like there are so many cards that are actually indicating i mean if i have to talk about the literal meaning of the cards consider the literal meaning of the cards we have four cards over here which are strongly indi indicating that there is something amazing that is about to happen in your love life we have lovers we have sun card we have 10 of cups we have 6 of cups okay so there is a lot of emotional satisfaction in the month of july okay or if you have anyone specific on your mind it is also quite possible that uh if things were not working out with that person um uh, maybe from the month of july things will start working out between you and this person and things are looking positive things are looking in a, moving in a, moving towards certainty okay like for many of you it is also quite possible that you will find yourself getting into a relationship with someone specific for others of you you will find that you will you are dating a lot this person you are going out on a lot of dates with this person and there is a certainty and surety in the situation right uh and i think so something amazing is happening after a real long time taurus especially when it comes to your love life okay you have been part of couple of relationships you have also shown your liking uh, towards uh, specific few in the past but things did not work out and uh, for some of you you are getting you're thinking about love and relationships or you're getting into relationship like after 10 15 years is what i'm hearing for some of you love is happening after a real long time okay so there is a very positive wave there is very uh, strong feeling of happiness like happiness and love is prevailing uh, throughout the month of july and right so let's move on towards your work your career we have six of cups six of cups is again telling me that partnerships are proving to be very fruitful again i feel the month of july is about partnership whether it is romantic partnership whether it is work related partnership i mean there are so many cards that are indicating two people coming together we have lovers that is indicating two people coming together Six, uh, six of cups that is indicating two of two people coming together a 10 of cups indicating two people coming together right so partnerships are prove are uh, like they are coming across as very fruitful beneficial for you uh in the past again i feel as far as your work uh, was uh, work is concerned you did not experience uh fruitful partnerships like people people were not loyal to you people probably had pro probably they had betrayed you a lot as well uh okay say for example you are an employer and you employed few people as interns you trained them for one year or so and then they became experts and when once they kind of they were very good at whatever they were doing uh they immediately left you and went to someone else or probably uh once they became uh, expert at whatever they were doing they started doing certain things um, uh, you know behind your back uh certain fraudulent things as well probably uh so in the past work related partnerships were also not beneficial but what i feel is like you're finding someone who you will consider as very trustworthy who with whom you will think that you are developing a very good uh, work relationship work bond and uh, i also feel like this partnership will help you do the do a turnaround situation in your work like if your business was not into profits or uh if it was in losses or in 
uh, in a break even situation was also happening very rarely with the help of uh, this partnership i think so you will see profits happening in your business after a real long time okay real profits so moving on to the challenges we have eight of cups eight of cups is telling me Taurus, that you are gonna ha- you will have difficulties in walking away from something or someone that was very dear to you once upon a time okay but uh you will find yourself in this dilemma uh opportunities we have ten of cups ten of cups is telling me Taurus, that you're gonna find someone from a long-term perspective okay like I feel for many of you, you're finding your future spouse, someone with whom you're going to get married to, someone with whom you're going to have kids. I mean, the person with whom you're going to have kids with and probably you're going to grow old with this person. Marriage is likely for you. I think so. I'm getting this energy since last couple of readings for you, Taurus. If this is the case, please, please, please make sure that you are working on that or you are availing the energy that is there, okay? Start putting in the work and finding the person, all right? I hope this resonates and hit like, share and subscribe and comment on below. Link for the extended is in description box and comment section in the extended. We'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you, action they will take towards you and likely conclusion within you and this person. Take care, have a great time and bye-bye.